Costa. Yet another quality fish on the Eddie Leland Special. The crocodile with the gold and the orange stripe down the side of it. This is how good the fishing is in our own backyard, guys, here in Southern California. You, all you gotta do is get down there and give it a shot, and you can land quality fish. There's the dark side, beautiful fish, absolutely beautiful. Unbelievable, you Who catch those in the you surf. catch this in the surf right off of Phil's house? What more could you ask for? Oh my God, I mean, you talk about being blessed, Eddie. This yes. is it, isn't it? It's a dream come true. And you're talking, this is one of the finest eating fish there is in the ocean. I, it's my favorite by far. Yeah. I love halibut. Really important, right, Eddie? Yeah, getting about eight or 10 strokes, and I'm good. <laughs> what I want to do on this halibut now is you want to follow the lateral line. And the lateral line is like just right down this corner right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right down to the lateral line until I hit the backbone. Then I'm going to stop. Okay, let's just do that and see how that goes. Okay. And do you always start on the brown side? I always start on the bigger side just because I don't know why. I just do it. I want to get the thickest fillet out of there first. But as you can see, I'm going to follow this all the way down the lateral line. And there's a line that's easy to follow, right? Yep. And what you can do is, it's pretty much dead center of the fish. So I'll take it all the way to the end of the tail, push it here, and then I'll feel it with my fingernails. And what I want to do is I want to get my tip of my knife right on that backbone right there. And it just kind of peels away right on the edge of the fish's backbone. And you just pull and peel. just kind of comes away. Beautiful. And this is where that sharp knife is coming in very handy. Yes, there's no drag and no drawn. Now the only thing I'm going to do different over here is once I get around the head, I'm bringing it all the way to the side of the... I want to get around this corner right here because I don't want to let that patch of meat get away from me. There's a big chunk right there. So as you can see, oh here's a better shot. As you can see how it just peels oh, away, man. You slowly peel it through there, and then what I try to do is follow as close as I can to the fins. So I follow my knife right along the side of the backbone, peel as I go. Oh, look at that. Look at that, Ed. That's beautiful, That's isn't amazing. it? And then what I've done is I'm going to halibut, I don't want to make any waste. I want to get everything I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off right here. Close as I can get to that tail. I want to get every piece I can. I can use that tail for like a little handle. Then I can put my knife under there and pull it through. Gotcha. So what I'll do is I'll finish them all. I'll do them all, then I'll skim at the end. Beautiful. Now is I want to cut this the same way here, but the first thing I want to do is I want to, same thing with the, the eye socket and the gill plate. I want to get that belly section. Because the best meat is right in here. So we, it has some bones, but we'll cut through it and we'll get it. Now I just take my knife, the tip, and I just follow the backbone. Follow the backbone. I'll take my knife this way and I'll go this way. If you look, you just keep falling over, falling over. Cut away the belly, cut here. And look, you can see, I mean, there's no meat being left there. Very little if there is any. And as you can see right here, Phil, here's the eggs. It's a female. Uh huh. So she was in there to lay her eggs, wasn't yep, she? Yep. She was in there to get some babies down there. And I just take my knife and I'm slowly cut along the edge here, trying not to waste anything on the halibut because you want to get all of the halibut. But then you look at that fillet, and it is just beautiful. Yeah. And when then we get done, we'll hold it up, and you can see there's going to be a little bit in there. You're, you're, you're not, you can't get it perfect but you can do a darn good job. The white side of the halibut. The fillet is just as good as just thinner meat. Same thing, now you can really see the lateral line here. Phil was commenting how the lateral line kind of moves. You don't have to follow the curve around because you're just going to go down here. This is just the nervous system of the fish. So we'll just start right here at the top. Same thing. It's really important that sharp knife again, you have the tip of the knife. And I'm not really looking at it real well, but I can see pretty good angle of that line all the way to the end of the tail kind of fill your fingers in there start pulling away 
All you're doing is you're bending the knife a little bit to hold that. And you know, granted, I haven't flayed a million halibut and I haven't done a bunch lately. So there's gonna be a little bit of meat left over, but you can always go back and trim it if you need to. Here, you're lying around the, uh, the fins. If you get a little bit of fin in there, you're okay. You can just pull it loose. Did you'll just keep ripping it along that. Oops. Just beautiful. Nice. There's a play. I made a little teeny mistake there, but you can make up for that. Just follow down that rib cage. Or the, the backbone, I mean. And here's when I want to just cut that away. Follow it. Follow it. Cut. 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 Someone helping you pull the fish away helps too. Thank you, Ed. If you only look good in a mini skirt, boy, we'd, <laughs> we'd have be you more set. on camera. There's the fillet again. Now all I'm going to do is pull off the skin and trim a little bit. It'll be fine when we get but it. But look down. at that fish. There is not any meat left on that. It is absolutely phenomenal. And Beautiful. We have almost see through. Almost yep. see through. Exactly. What we're going to do is we're going to pull the skin off of there, off that fillet. What I like to do is, I'm trying not to waste any meat, so I'll get my knife and I'll hold it. And I'll get a piece of skin, and all I do now is I hold on to the skin, push my knife down towards the block, the butcher block or whatever kind of wood you're using, and then you, you push your knife in and then you just pull the knife back and forth against the fillet, pulling off the skin. That's, That's what you it. get. Beautiful. And what I like to do on these, these bellies, it's, it has bones. There's about 15 or 16 bones in here, but this meat really tastes good. So what I'm gonna do is, when we saw that lateral line, how it went around in a circle, that's how it was following the belly line of the, of the filet. So we're gonna keep this, and we're gonna keep this separate, because it has the bones all right here. The meat still tastes good because there's a lot of fat right here. We'll keep that separate. The people who don't want any bones, they're gonna get this. And then the final bit, when I was in Alaska, they always told me sometimes you gotta give up a little meat to have the best. So you'll cut off just the edge of it, get your filet, try to trim everything you can, and then I like to cut them in chunks. Wow. Just about for that. Is that beautiful? And now you're set for one whole meal. And oh. I mean, look at, the, look at the texture, everything's beautiful. Thank no mush. Halibut nice halibut steak, you got it. That would be a beautiful. Expensive meal if you want to buy that at the supermarket. Yep.